Hello, hi, it's Liz here and today I'm going to do Roxy's weekly challenge. It's week 17 and it's swatches on paper and fabric and I've had a go at two already. Great fun and um, yeah, so let's make some together. Um, I've used these old Project Life cards which are just like journaling cards. I have I used to buy them cheap in sets, so I've got quite a box full that I'm working through. Um, I did my swatches and then I did some stamping and used the colours that um, I swatched. And I wrote down um, what colours I used and then I just used my fine liner pen and zigzagged over uh, around the edge, which I think is a wee bit over the top, but it's done now. Um, this one, much the same, except this has been swatched on a uh, just some fabric and um, and again a wee note of the swatched paints and a little line round the edge and again it's just an old project life card so yeah so let's get on with it um i've got this this is a wait a minute, i'll show you a paper palette so that's what i'm going to use to do my Swat, a uh, you know, the from the ink pads, get the ink off the ink pads onto that. So it's a paper palette tear off sheet, and I'm going to use two sets of ink pads. I've also got some things to swatch on, some will work better than others um, with watercolor, but I've got a little bundle here that we will use to swatch. I probably won't get through all of that. I've got my Project Life um, Project uh, journaling cards and yeah, so um, my Versafine to stamp with and stuff to stamp on and my blocks and what else have I bought? A couple of brushes, some water, my fine liner pen and of course my inks. Now, when I get an ink pad, I don't have a huge collection. I've got I've got a fair collection, but not nearly like all these colours. I don't think you need all the colours, but you know. So these are the colours I've got. And when I get a new one, I just swatch it up anyway. I've always done that. So I've got four of the oxides and the rest just of the distress ink. So these you can all turn into watercolours. So that's the... Tim Holtz Distress ink pads and we'll use them. That's what I used in my two samples that I showed you. But I also have these which I think are a precursor because these are Ranger as well and I think uh, Adirondack and I think these are a precursor to the Distress inks because you don't get these anymore. But I've got this nice collection and I still want to use them and I feel that these, if you want something brighter, if you're not going down the vintage route, then these ones are nice and brighter um, and still water-based that you can use uh, your brush and some water and you get this watercolour effect. So, uh, so yeah, so we'll, so we'll maybe use a couple of them as well. And I have the stamps. That I'm going to use. These are Vintage Things Blueprint CMS152 and Mini Blueprints CMS150 and we might use something off of this which is Travel Blueprint CMS148. Yeah I should really clean my stamps after I use them but well, <laughs> I don't, and they work fine. Let's do, let's do a big one first. What will we do? I already did the typewriter, and from the little one, I did the the bobbin. So we'll do something different. What will we do? Will we do the telephone? Why not? So we'll just do the telephone, which is from CMS152 Vintage Things Blueprint. Okay, just stretch over and put them 
way over the other side of the and is this going to be no it'll fit on there that's fine and i've got a little bit of watercolor paper so that's what we need to decide um i didn't want to stamp directly on these because it wouldn't take the watercolor very well and plus it's nice just to layer it up so i'm stamping on watercolor card mixed media card whatever you've got um yeah, so we'll stamp. So, because we're going to use water, we need VersaFine. VersaFine Onyx Black is what I'm going to use. Um, any VersaFine colour is fine. It, VersaFine won't run, won't blend with the ink that we're going to use. Let's see if we can find a fairly clean bit to stamp on. Yeah, so we can just put that aside for now and bring in our decide what colour we're going to use. Base lift that off before I smudge it. Well it hasn't it hasn't um done wonderfully well. I should have used my uh, it's just sorry for my arm. Let's do that again. All is not lost. Let's use the uh, the stamping platform because um, then we can redo it and redo it. I think it's these stamps soak up the ink a wee bit and they've not been used for a while. We can redo that and hopefully that paper won't have moved because I've been lazy and haven't used washi to stick it down. <laughs> I'm leaving it in the lap of the crafty gods. That's better. A little double, a double push did the trick. Right, let's try and just put that in a safe place up there, out the way. And we'll put that stamping platform over there. Right, so next step is to de decide what colours we're going to what, uh, use. So I think maybe we'll do um, a lilac-y one this time. I have done a blue and a kind of yellowy green. So let's try lavender, lavender, and maybe a blue, maybe a teal or something with the there's faded jeans. That'll do and maybe maybe a maybe a brown with this one right so we're going to lay down a little bit of ink on our palette so that's the faded jeans oh wow the lavender and the gathered twigs. We'll give them a squirt. They have bonny colours, aren't they? The blue and the purple. Right, so just let's... Now, first of all, we want to decide what we're going to swatch on. Let's swatch on... And we swatch on. Let's use this. Oh. 
wet switch, switch, <laughs> swatch, swatch on this. So it's just a square. And then we will decide what bit of the telephone we are just going to very, very loosely colour with that colour. Right, then we're going to move to the next colour, the milled lavender. And let's do the dial. And yeah, the mouthpiece. Is that what you used to call it? Do you know? I remember using not not phones like that, but with the old phones, it was a mouthpiece, wasn't it? Right, and then we'll just do a little wash on the background. There. And maybe we'll just add some darker blue. Just to certain bits. And again with the purple. Right, we haven't swatched the brown. There. Okay, now we don't need this. Away just now, and we're going to tear this to size. Let's just do a little bit around the edge. Just gives it some definition. And let's choose a card. Oh, there's hello. That's like, that matches the, the telephone. Yeah. And we want our swatch to be somewhere, but we will just tear it down. the swatch a little bit of definition with a loose frame yeah grand right let's just see if we can find something nice to to layer it up. That's quite cool. Yeah. I'll telephone immediately. Hmm. I think 
I just need to put that. I need to put that there. Don't mention his telephone twice. I bet I don't do a good job of this. Oh, that's not too bad. Okay, let's stick. Right, now we're going to write the names. That um, watercolour mixed media paper is sometimes a little bit trickier. I should probably have used um, better glue. Right, so we've got Faded jeans, so we'll just write it in this little space here. Gathered twigs. And milled lavender. And a finishing touch, I think we'll do just a line in this one. And if you can draw a straight line, do what I do and do a squiggly line. And it looks more intentional. And let's do a Squiggle there and a squiggle there. Grand. Okay. What do we think? Yeah. Like that. Good. Yeah, I think these are nice. Right, we'll do another one. Um, let's do do a little one. Okay, stamping block. Stamping block. Where would that be? It's there. Beside the stamping blocks. This time, let's use a brighter colour. Oh, my goodness. We'll put those ones away and then we'll have more room. I don't need my cloth at the moment. I need that and I need that and I need that and we need to pick out. So what have we not had? We've got pinks and what about, what 
got like, some bright greens, bright greens and a yellow maybe, because there's butterscotch just at the top, so that's handy. Lettuce, oh and lettuce is at the top, you'd think I had, and a third one, terracotta. Let's see. Right, let's try. So, first of all, we want to choose from mini blueprints. Um, what about what about the camera? Something to stamp on. This is um, caddy paper, which is very similar to watercolour paper. It's just a fancier watercolour, so it should take the watercolour no bother. And let's see if I can get it stamped first time this time. Not bad. We'll take that. And right, let's decide on what we are going to swatch on. And I think we'll use some fabric this time. Here's a little bit of linen -y stuff, which is very thready. So we're going to colour that in the colours that we've swatched. And I'm managing to get absolutely filthy. Filthy, filthy. Right, so some terracotta. Lettuce. I'm going to get hungry here. Lettuce. Mm. Not so much lettuce, but butterscotch. Yum. Oh, they are nice colours. Right, a squirt. There we go. And is the brush clean? Where did that, where did that um, brown napkin go? There it is. I'm sure I've got a little pixie in the room that hides things from me, like a goblin or something. It just goes, I'm just going to take that away and hide it. Especially when she's making a video. I'm sure there's goblins. <laughs> right. That turns out quite nice on the, the linen, doesn't it? So now we're going to colour. Let's see. Let's use that for the centre bit there. I'm a bit dry. Just put some bit of water in the side there for the brush. That's better. And green for this top bit. Terracotta. The green hasn't really shown up. Have I watered it down too much? That's better. Right, and then some watery edge. And that bit 
in the middle needs to be a bit darker. There we are. The paper's already wet, so that can do that right from the... Right, so we don't need that. We don't need that. We need the ruler. down to size. Just going to go round the edges. grungy effect here with that. Let's put them back in the box. Right. So. This one. Let's find something for the back. Right, let's get the pen. So it's back holiday weekend, off work. This is this is Sunday, yeah. So my whatnots will be going live this afternoon. Can't remember what number it was, but I think you'll like it. And then I'll save this video for maybe Monday, um, for tomorrow. Um, we'll be out and about for the bank holiday. Right, I need to use, now will that hold this hold, do you think? So we'll probably just go somewhere. I don't think the weather's to be all that great. So we'll probably just take Millie for a coffee. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, go out and about a little bit for the bank holiday. I don't mind that it comes up a wee bit at the edges. I think that adds a little bit. Yeah. Now, have we got room to write the colours on this one? What colours was it? Well, they're quite short. Let's try and just write smaller. Terracotta. Scotch. And 
Lettuce. And we'll just do a line from there. To there. Yeah. Well, I brought all this stuff and I think that's probably, now let's see, we're at 31 minutes. I think you get the idea. So that's two on camera and two that I did before to have a wee practice. So we've got four and I think that's probably enough for you to get the idea. Hmm? What do you think? It's a messy business, but it's fun. I'm liking them. Oh, do I have a favourite? Yes, I do, right away, this one. This one is my favourite, and I'm thinking it's because of the brighter colours. Um, and then those three much the same. <laughs> but this one, yes, for sure, I like this one. Okay, I'm going to go totally tidy up. Um, yeah. <laughs> if you could see just over here, you would laugh. But I'm going to go. Um, have a go. It's um, Roxy's Challenge number 17. Um, yeah, uh, you can go and see Rachel's uh, original video there and um, yeah so thanks for joining me today and if you've enjoyed the video a thumbs up would be great and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.